What's up, Wolverines? I'm Bo Humphrey. And I'm Alexander Tierce. And here are your news for today. Don't miss your chance to see Faith, Beauty, and Devotion before it closes on December 16th. The exhibition features 30 religious and secular paintings by Italian and Flemish masters. Also featured is the Florence Experience, a virtual flight over the birthplace of the Renaissance via a floor-to-ceiling LED display. The Belen community is invited to join the Eucharistic procession on Tuesday, December 5th at 7.30 p.m. The procession will begin in Our Lady of Belen Chapel and will continue around Belen campus with the Most Blessed Sacrament. Who will win Polar Palooza? The fun-filled talent show will feature senior students from Belen against the ladies from Lord's Academy this Friday, December 1st at 7 p.m. in the Roca Theater. Bring a toy to donate for free admission or $10 at the door. In other news, economic growth in the U.S. was even stronger in the third quarter than previously estimated. That fact underscores the econ economy's remarkable resilience in the fact of elevated inflation and high borrowing costs earlier this year. Gross domestic product, the, broadcast, the broadest measure of economic output rose at an annualized rate of 5.2% from July through the, uh, September. That's according to the Commerce's Department new estimate released Wednesday morning. GDP is adjusted for inflation and seasonal swings. Wednesday's latest data reflects an even faster pace of growth than the rate of the department initial, initially estimated of just below 5%. After a robust third quarter, the U.S. economy is widely expected to go at a much slower rate in final months of the year as a pandemic savings dwindle and interest rates remain at a 22-year high. We now move on to Gabriel Vick, who joins us in the studio to give us the latest on the hostage release in Gaza. Thank you, guys. A sixth set of hostages is scheduled to be freed by Hamas today, according to two sources close to the matter. This will be the second release during the extension of the truce between the militant group and the Israeli military. While a member of Hamas's political bureau said it's pushing for a longer suspension of hostiles, that might be an uphill climb. Tears, hugs, and smiles from family and friends for dozens of hostages released by Hamas over the past few days. That includes a nine-year-old Emily Hand who was held captive for seven weeks. During the military halt, an action between Israel and Hamas. Some much needed supplies are being brought to, into Gaza, but the relative calm in the Gaza region may not much last longer. Democrat, Democratic Senator Peter Welch of Vermont says that the ceasefire expiring will be a quote, grave mistake, but a few of his colleagues from either party agree. Hey Wolverines, I'm Channing Pierre and here are some announcements for today. The varsity soccer team takes the pitch against Key West High School at 5 p.m. at the Dela Cruz Stadium. You can watch the game live on YouTube. Tonight, Belen dedicates the new Leva Court. The dedication will take place at 7 p.m. Tip-off will be at 7.30 as the team takes on Palmetto Senior High. This will be live on YouTube also. 
That's all for your sports today. Now back to you guys at the desk.